What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel for yet another edition of this Nottingham Forest rebuild career on Football Manager 2021. Things have fallen apart to a point. Uh, last episode you would have seen us take on Chelsea at the top of, or in the top of the Premier League clash. We're both near, sort of near the top. Yeah, we're not anymore. We've been on that horrendous run that I showed off last time and hopefully now we can come out of the other side of it and kind of be a good team in the Premier League again. Let's jump into it. So guys, as I mentioned, you last saw us take on Chelsea at the bridge and we lost 3-0. It was very convincing to be perfectly honest. We were quite poor. Um, this run of defeats is stinking. Um, so in the Premier League, we lost at home to Bournemouth before last episode. We then, we then lost to Chelsea. We then took on Arsenal. This is a horrendous run of teams to play in a row, but still. We took on Arsenal at the Emirates. We lost 5-2. We then went to Anfield. We lost 4-2. We beat Blackburn in the FA Cup, but then in the Premier League... We beat, uh, sorry, we lose to Manchester United at home. Mason Greenwood scoring a 97th minute winner there. Uh, and then we took on Brighton at home again uh, and we lost. Um, so I think when we took on Chelsea, we were up in fourth. Uh, we're now in ninth, having lost our last five games in the division, uh, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, even if we win this game in hand, uh, we don't go above Villa, so we will stay where we are right now. But we do have Chelsea below us. Um, Chelsea definitely shouldn't be there, neither should Spurs. Um, but Brentford got promoted with us, so this is going to be an interesting one. They are seventh, we are ninth. That is who we are taking on today. Musiela doing the business, though. 14 goals in Premier League at uh, Timo Werner is the top goal scorer in the Prem, uh, which Chelsea fans would absolutely love. But obviously, we are already 30 points behind Man City, so the title is not it. The title is not the one. We're going to go into this game against Brentford, though. Uh, Maya is back, which is fantastic for us. Oh, I do have to touch on something. This is why you never sign a goalkeeper from Africa. Bryce Samba is currently on international duty with Congo. And let me open this for you. He is currently on international duty with Congo. His estimated return date is the 6th of the 2nd, 2022. Uh, so as you can see, that's another two weeks on top of where we are right now. And... Um, I don't have a backup keeper. So partially this is my issue because we've had obviously um, a guy... Uh, uh, from uh, of African origin uh, as our goalkeeper. So, you know, African Cup of Nations is going to be a thing. So that's part one on my issue. Part two, not actually signing a backup. Um, so, you know, these grayed out Donnies. Y yeah. Mm -hmm. He's in goal. Or I could pick this one. Shocking, isn't it? Uh, Correa's there, though. Figueroa, McKenna, Ribeiro, uh, Yates, Garner, Lolly, Mayer, Popescu, and Musiela uh, round off this team. Uh, we're starting to get relationships slowly starting to form. Fairly decent partnerships across the field. Uh, will this goalkeeper be an issue for us today? Who knows? Wesley Lomas is the player. Um, fingers crossed, hey boys. Fingers crossed. We'll get into the game. It's going to be a pretty quick episode today. It is a Friday. I'm not going to keep you guys too long. Um, Brentford, obviously a team that were promoted with us. Josh De Silva is a very nice player that I really, really like. Ethan Pinnock again, another decent little player. Obviously, they've got Ivan Tony on the bench as well. Um, recent form standings have Brentford in ninth and we're 20th. Let's raise our game to their level. Our centre-back's buzzing with that and so is Lolly on the right-hand side. He has scored some absolute bangers this season. Um, so I'm hoping he can kind of do the same again now. Brentford. Potentially, if they beat us here, they go above Arsenal uh, and go up into fifth, which is absolutely ridiculous. We're both playing the 4-2-3-1 formation, as a lot of teams do. Uh, relatively quiet in the opening exchanges. I am just praying, guys, that this horrendous run that we've been on can come to an end. Popescu with the ball back to Thierry Correa. Cuts inside Garner. He can pick a pass. Ribeiro strikes it across goal. It's not good. Um, but that run of form, we're still a 
uh, 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 we are still playing above expectation in the league, so I'm not fully disappointed, um, especially with that run of teams sort of in a row, Chelsea, Arsenal, Liverpool, Manchester United, is to be expected. It's the ones for me either end of that. So we lost to Bournemouth as well. We also lost to Brighton. Uh, most most recently they're the two that are really bothering me Popescu into the penalty area back to Musiela the top goal scorer for the club scores again 17th goal of the season come on drag us out of this slump young man 44th minute goal Brentford not really having any luck in this game so far uh, nice ball up the line to Popescu instantly comes in Musiela gets a hand on it and somehow squeaks that one past uh, Pontus Janssen and the goalkeeper there into the side netting giving us the lead against Brentford and as I said Brentford not actually done a great deal thus far but this is FM so you know things can change as quickly as that so we will continue to power forward we are at home though so we do have that as a positive low mass with that ball up Musiela is going to lose that one in the air to Ethan Pinnock a hundred percent of the time the silver on the ball player that I called out before the game we win that one, though. Lolly with the ball on the right-hand side. He can attack down this side. Gives it to Musiela. He's in the penalty area. What a finish, Jamal Musiela. What a hit. Unreal. Across the goalkeeper. Two in the space of three minutes, as it says there. I told you football manager is ridiculous. They can really bring out these results and these quick-fire goals. That was a great pass. Gets away from his defender and absolutely hammers that home. And we go into the half-time... Two goals to the good. Jamal Musiela, I, I've got to touch on this guy. Um, He's on loan from Bayern. I'm going to keep him for as long as possible because we're only paying him £800 a week. Um, 21 appearances in the Premier League. All starts, 14 goals, 5 assists. This guy is a beast. He's only 18. He can only get better. Um, So fingers crossed we can actually hold on to him. I'm actually going to say I'm very pleased with the performance. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pray that we can hold on to him. They've taken off Josh King. They brought on someone else. Josh King was a player who was on a free transfer at the end of the season, last season. And I didn't fancy taking the chance with him. Um, this is good, though. Allowing us, if we potentially win our game in hand, we would jump above Brentford in the table. They're making some changes, though. Not looking like they're doing anything. And unfortunately, Joe Lolly goes down with an injury. Uh, let's bring on our booze uh, to play on that right-hand side instead. Free kick for us. Just outside the penalty area, right-hand side of the penalty area. What's going on here, FM? Can we have the free kick? Here we go. Garner to take. Oh, he's hit the inside of the post. That deserved a goal at the end of it, says the text commentary. But Garner has hit the post. I'm going to have to make a change here because he is knackered as well. Uh, let's make that change. He's tired. He's on a book in. Let's make the change. Bring on Carvalho. Uh, corner for us then on this left-hand side. Left-footed in swinger. Gets clear, but Yates is going to mop this one up. Into Mayer. Carvalho. Good run. Good run, Musiela. This is a hat-trick. Yes, it is. Is he offside? I think he is offside. 15 minutes to go. The youngster could have scored a hat-trick. He has strayed offside, supposedly, according to uh, the referee, uh, referee's assistant. We will check VAR. Naturally, FM21. This has been disallowed for offside. Let's see how close this one is, though. Another... He's onside. Is that not onside? It looks onside to me. Devastating. Absolutely devastating. He could have got a hat trick, the boy. But instead, it looks like it's just going to be a brace. Lolly's obviously off injured. We're making a couple changes here because everyone is absolutely knackered. Um, but we go into injury time. Three of the five played thus far. Brentford with the ball on the right hand side, then. Goes back to their. Into our penalty area. That's a great challenge from Scott McKenna. Absolute monster challenge. And they've scored a goal. I think it's Tom Cleverly. I think it's offside. It is. It's a goal disallowed on each team now. I can't be as bothered by it. Tom Cleverly's goal will not stand. Let's take a look at the VAR on this one as well. See if it is offside for them. Doesn't look like we are getting a replay, but we hit the ball out of play there. I've tried to make this change and take off Mayo about four times now. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. But that's five minutes of it done. And 
We've given away a free kick. Oh, this is this is the replay of their goal. It finally comes now. Tom Cleverley definitely offside in an offside position there and taps home. But that is a fantastic result for us against a team that we have struggled against previously, but also a team that had, that was promoted with us. And you know what? Wesley Lomas from Cyprus has done the business, is all I can say. He... One game for us, kept a clean sheet. Fair play. Um, but Musiele at the start of the show with the two goals just before halftime. Very pleased with that, boys. We finally turned the tide after a, after a series of successive defeats, which is absolutely brilliant. Leicester, bottom of the Premier League table. And we are three points above Chelsea and Tottenham. You love to see it. The Swansea manager has been sacked, which is... Uh, Struggle for him. Gareth, GYRFM will be devastated by that. Um, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I, I like bringing you back for the big games, to be perfectly honest. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to power forward uh, throughout the end of January. We're going to do February, considering it's only three games. And I'm going to bring you back for the game against Manchester City at the City Ground. Massive, massive game. They are top of the Premier League. Um, as I said, I think they are 30 points above us. Uh, What is that now? 27 points above us. Um, so that's going to be an interesting one, isn't it? What could go wrong, hey, with a Pep Guardiola team? Let's have a look and see how much money they've spent just out of curiosity. 182 million in the summer. They bought Nuno Menge, um, Ings, Balotti, Malcolm, um, Benacea. Absolute ridiculous spending on Manchester City's behalf. But it looks like they've sold Gabriel Jesus. So I don't know if you'll be able to see that because it is behind my head. Let's pop that up. Sold Mares, sold Jesus, uh, sold Eric Garcia. So fair play. They've made some interesting signings. It's going to be a very interesting game. And fingers crossed we can actually get a result against Pep at our stadium. But that's where I'm going to leave things for today, guys. If you have enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like on it down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. And don't forget to ring that bell so you're told each and every time that we upload a video. But it is Friday evening, guys. Hope you have a great weekend and hopefully I'll see you on another one very, very soon.